What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeff, back in with another video. And today, you know, I want to talk about how Apple's just, you know, hurting their customers to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? They're a great company, I love their products. And the main reason that I like my Mac products is because the video editing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when you do photo editing, video editing, what they do, they do it right. And I have nothing against Apple in that sense. That's why in the professional sector, they do get used a lot. But they take advantage. See, that's the thing. If you're a regular home consumer, just, you know, internet, schoolwork, some video editing, you know, so you're not making money off your machine. You're a regular consumer. If you're a pro consumer, meaning that, you know, saying it's not an entertainment item, it's a business item, it's a write off. You're making money off of it. So you could just go crazy on the price because at the end, it's not a appliance in your house. It's actually a tool for you to make money. So you attach it to your business, a money making thing. So that's different then. So you can understand the higher prices. Even though on all the products, I never buy Mac products retail. Mm -mm. I mean, I go to the clearance or I go to, you know, Craigslist and get that same product for much less. Like, for example, I ended up getting a Mac Mini 2018, which is the latest one, the second one that came out with a six cores entry level that goes for $1,100. I got it for like $750 on Craigslist. Some guy used, you know, got an extra one and just, you know, whatever. So, boom, I bit the bullet. Now, that's what I'm talking about. This machine specifically that retails for $1,100. It's a great system because the Mac Mini, I, can, I already have a gaming machine, so I can attach it to my regular gaming monitor, use a uh, same keyboard or a different keyboard that I want, and I continue playing, you know, working with it. Now, this specific model came with 8 gigs. Powerful machine. It compares to my i7, my PCI gaming machine, and CPU power. Sometimes it even did better, even though it's a 6 core compared to my big gaming PC, which is 8 core. But it's two, three generations newer, so that's the reason why. Now, it came with eight gigs of RAM. When I check online, I said, I wonder if you could just, you know, like the hard drive, can you upgrade it? You can't upgrade the hard drive on these machines. You have to buy it like that. So I figured, you know, how about the memory? Because I noticed that I was doing some 4K video editing, and I was kind of running out of everything. kind of gave me a little hiccup. So I said, let me see if I could upgrade the memory. So what I do is, I check out the memory, I go online, I see it from Mac, how they do it. 16 gigs from 8 is $200. All right, $200. All right, I said, well, about 32 $600 for 32 gigs of RAM. What? All right, I'm in front of the computer. I just want to guys show you what I was talking about before. So I got my RAM replaced. So I got uh, I had 8 gigs on this machine. I wanted 16 gigs, but I said, you know what? When I saw how much the upgrade is on Apple to get this extra memory i said might as well go with the 32 if i could get it for only only 42 dollars or the 43 dollars but check this out guys this is the machine that i got which by the way like i said before i do not buy retail for anything i got lucky enough to buy one on Craigslist brand new for like you know three four hundred dollars less i think it was like seven something so i got it for 350 dollars less than it goes here for eleven hundred dollars but it only comes with uh eight gigs of ram you know so i said i want to get the 16 gigs i was thinking of doing going to an apple store and doing the 200 or you know getting the memory online but you could replace it it is replaceable there's a couple of videos out there that teach you how to do it step by step i did it i'm not going to show you that video because you know what I'm saying there's so many great videos out there i'll link them up on the description so you guys can see how to do it but do not do it through the apple store that's the whole purpose you know of this video i mean 200 dollars. this we could get all right at crucial.com you buy memory there's a reputable memory company micron they're the best to me and a 16 gig kit look at that 70 bucks 69 and I even went lower than that 70 and 7 you know so you can get 70 bucks instead of 200 bucks big difference this is the reason I went 32 look at this 143 dollars and 99 cents all right 32 gigs beautiful what does Apple want for that six hundred dollars I mean come on come on memory fluctuates goes up and down but come on apple six hundred dollars think about it i mean if i as a consumer could get this uh, memory for 143 and you charge you six hundred dollars and you don't buy stuff at consumer prices you could buy stuff at consumer prices like way i buy it and still make 400 percent. and you don't buy stuff at my price you know apple buys stuff like you know say i pay 143 they could get their own stuff for 60 70 bucks 
that's the Apple way, as I said before. So, guys, any Apple products that you could upgrade yourself, do it. Um, that's your local repair shops to fix your Apple products. Look them up online. Do it. Don't go to the Apple Store. Don't go to, if you're out of warranty, you're done. You know, do not bother going to Apple Store because you will get. I mean, she used the word raped. Basically, you don't know, say so you will. <laughs> I mean, they'll kill you. And you know, when you're not buying an Apple product, another thing that I do recommend: go to the Apple Store. You don't go. You go to. You don't feel safe buying stuff in per se uh, Craigslist. So, I mean, understand you're meeting strangers. You know what you're getting. This and that. I mean, you could go to the Apple Store and they have certified clearance and refurbished products. Now, unlike other refurbished products that you get from other people or other companies, Apple does a great job. I mean, your machine comes in like original packaging with the same one year warranty from the from apple that's the great thing about it you're getting a full like yeah they brought it back and they had to fix something but you're getting a product that is brand new i bought plenty of things already refurbished from the refurbished box like that or clearance and the stuff is in the same box is brand new the one year warranty you'll be crazy buying full retail if you could get a deal on a refurbished no. Apple Care is the second profitable part of their business. I think it's iPhone then Apple Care. It's free money. It's insurance money, just in case stuff happens. I got a 2015 Apple iPad, right? Wi-Fi stops working. Now this machine is old. We're talking about 2015, 2014, I think it came out, right? And so it's five years old. Machine they see them on Crick looks for like what, 150, 200 dollars now. So Wi-Fi stops working on it. I take it to the Apple store and they tell me, oh, so you're off warranty, so this is a off warranty item, so it'll be, okay, off warranty, $300. I said, yeah, but just $300, you know, no, it's, a mother, it's something with a motherboard, so, you know, yeah, we just give you a replacement and we just take this one out and it's like, but mind you, the Apple 10 or whatever, the latest um, Apple iPad, basic, not the Pro, I think they have one like for 329 bucks. Three or four generations ahead of the one I have. I mean, what? Three hundred dollars? I took it to my local third-party repair place, and they said something. Probably something got loose with the cable. Sometimes the cable wires of the Wi-Fi they break up. So let me just take a look at it. Probably took a look at it. You know, it's like a five-dollar cable. They replaced it. It was fifty-five bucks or something like that. Three hundred dollars? Fifty-five dollars? They saw an example. They saw in a guy in Sweden. He replaces iPhone screens. They going after him. Yes. They confiscated a shipment of like 70 screens that he had coming in. And Apple saw him and say, return these screens. They're counterfeit. And apologize and stop doing business with our products. They took it to court. They lost. Now they're still coming after the poor guy, but they lost. And a lot of times these screens are like crack screens that Apple replaces and what they do. People have these old crack screens, they send them to China and you know, sometimes the screen is good, little cable messed up on it, the screen itself or the piece of glass messed up. They have factories that could just replace that piece of glass and you got a refurbished screen. No, they don't want you, that's counterfeit. That is counterfeit according to Apple. So they're going after the third party Apple repair places. So you know what I'm saying, they just want it's business now. It's the second biggest, you know, profitable side of their company now. So now we got to suffer for that. So I say, guys, check out your local repair, third party repair guys, you know, check their Yelps and their reviews and stuff. Use them because they're there for you. Screen repair, imagine. They want to screen repair your phone. They want what three, four, you know, two, three hundred dollars. You could. I got my screen repairs for my daughter's phone. She breaks it every month for like 40, 50 bucks. She's happy with it. Then I have to go to Apple and pay three hundred dollars. I mean, you know, what I'm saying. I mean, we are consumers, and don't price gouge on your regular consumers. Like I said, an enterprise is an enterprise. A consumer is different. A consumer is a consumer. Don't take advantage. Anyway, guys, this is your boy Jeff. Till next time. See ya.